Presenting. Channeling Eric's Hour of Enlightenment. Heather's on hold. I don't know how to get to her. Heather, oh, let me find you. Okay, hang on, hang on. And, uh, you know, we've been working on this. Poor Michelle had to create a new episode. Oh, here's Heather. Okay, now. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. And um, Oh, Michelle, thank here? goodness. Huh? I'm here. Michelle. I'm here. Oh, thank you. We did. Oh, what my God. God. How is that? I don't know, but is there any way we can extend the, the time? It, it says we only have 38 minutes and 44 seconds left. I wonder if we can extend the That's time not. of the episode. Oh, okay. How do I do that? I don't know. Well, let's just, do we have callers on the line? We do. Yes, uh, we do. Yes, so we do. let's just go ahead and get that going now. Oh, I'm let's sorry, guys, do it. but, you know, this is, this is just, just do it. Just do it. If we can extend the time, fine. If we can't. Anyway, so um, I want to say to Michelle, um, I sent you that thing about your parents, but it said delivery failed. So anyway, I just sent that to you. So oh, I got, you got it. it. Anyway, I got it. I got Good. it just now. Thank you so much. Good. I sent it to you several days ago. But anyway, uh, no worries. Um, let's take let's take a first caller from the eight one. So obviously a person that is very very patient. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Know, blog talk radio. Every once in a while, they tell me. You need to download Chrome. Well, I have Chrome, okay? So I have to do that. It's just, you know, everything just went to hell in a handbasket. But don't worry. We are eternal beings. We'll be okay. So, we will be hello. okay. Welcome to the show. And Hi. thank you for being so patient. I'm so happy up feet that I stuck in there and it hung up on me and I called back. <laughs> so, uh, thank this is you. Uh, Tomorrow is my birthday, and I was wondering if you could bring my happy bio birthday. mother through. Thank you. Happy thank you. birthday. Yeah, you. happy birthday. Uh, did you, uh, did you, I'm oh, sorry. Did no, you not okay. know her? I did not know her. Okay. Mm. She, she, okay. So she, she's acknowledging that, that you did not know her, but you do on a soul mm-hmm. level. And you know oh, how much mm. she loved, loves you and loved you and did what she had to do for you. And you feel yes. that love and you feel that connection. And she's grateful for that. And she says, that's a huge gift to me. And thank you. And happy birthday. It was a day that I never, ever forgot my whole entire existence as a human. Hmm. Um, I did. Mm. I, I, it's kind of like an inside joke. But um, when I was born, I died. And um, so mm-hmm. I met my mother. Hours before that does she not died. sound like a very funny joke, telling you, but it's oh, so it was like she met me when I died, and I met her when she died. <gasps> yes, oh, you wow. were were you premature? Yes, very. Okay. I had no chance of yeah. survival. Right, but you did because you're a fighter. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, she she's sorry because she she takes she takes responsibility for that. Um, but yeah, the the gift that you guys have together and that soul connection is she's so grateful for that and the fact that you were tuned in and that there was a reason for it and that she's right. so glad she that you had a good life. Yeah, yeah. Um, she is she okay? Because she had a horrible life. She's okay. She's even better. She's yeah, more than course, okay. And she knows I have that in my heart, and I never hold anything against her. And she also knows that you had a better life than what she could yes. give you. Oh, yes. And Maybe she, she, she yes. celebrates yeah. that. Yeah. You're a lot like your birth mother, too. You must have physical similarities to her when she was your uh-huh. age. Because she's, okay. she's, saying, she's saying that there's um, must be similarities in your hair or in some of oh, your yeah. features. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my hair is turning a different color now. Cool. So it does look like hers. Aww. Yeah, my sister. I was adopted with my sister. Bless that fact. Oh. Um, but not my other siblings. And my sister supposedly is the spin image of her. Oh wow! wow. Or that's okay. awesome. All right, we we're we're gonna take very Thank little you. time for each caller, guys. You're welcome. Yeah, Happy yes, birthday, so I love you guys. Happy birthday, Thank Eric. You. Go give us some birthday spankings, okay? 
I know you want to. You magic man. <laughs> All right. I love you, guys. Love you. you. Want to. I can tell he probably has a little crush on her. I can just tell she's the type. Yeah, I, I can. know. I want to ask you guys a question, okay? Um, mm-hmm. Eric told me that Lucas met his twin flame after our neighbor's uh, 50th birthday party. Um, and it may be Stacy's um, is the birthday girl. Uh, she's just turned 50. And her daughters are Kendall and Bailey. And Kendall and Bailey and Lucas went out with a bunch of friends. Did he meet, Eric said he met his twin flame there. Is that true, or um, is it just me wishful thinking? No, Lisa, it is because you know what's so funny is I saw a picture of Lucas uh, when I was downloading something on the on the blog on there that I saw, mm. and I heard in my head, I oh, this is so funny, a conversation about him finding a girlfriend or finding his match. Mm. And I just kind of passed it off because I heard that, and he's just reminding me like I told you that. I told you that, Michelle. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Interesting. Do you have any names? Mm-hmm. Like, there's, oh, there's a girl, Olivia, he talked to. There's Candy. There's Eric says something with sort of a D, anything. And a co-worker of his, a co-worker of Kendall's, a co-worker of Bailey, anything? Mm. It's okay. Let, we'll, we'll, we'll do this for the regular callers. Maybe we could talk later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I'm getting okay. stuff Interesting. on that. I don't want to. I don't want to take up people's time. All right, so 678 area code. Hi. Oh, well, maybe I should unmute her. God, we're busy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 678 area code. Hello. Hi there. How Mama, you slow down. Hello. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Hi, how are you Hi, doing? Alisa. Hi, Alisa. Hi. It's, hey, your, it's your old buddy from uh, Marietta, Georgia, near Atlanta, yes. Jim. Hi. Hi, the airplane Hi. guy. Hi. The airplane guy, the tinnitus Ooh, yes. guy. But, <laughs> but anyway, what about, oh, hi, yeah, what about hi, Can we cure his tinnitus? Hi, Tim. Um, Eric? Eric, can yeah, we cure tinnitus. his tinnitus? Did you with... say tinnitus? Yes. I say tinnitus. Yes. I say tomato. I say tomato. Yes, exactly, I... Elisa. Exactly. Well, I, I heard tinnitus, but I but I felt the ringing in the ears. And I, yes. I, mm. I know that as tinnitus. Um, yes. Yeah. You can say either one. I don't care. So yes. can we help him? Yes. Yeah. How? Yes. Oh, Scalar can do it because, you know, yes. Lisa, you and I communicated about that. Yeah. Yes. I, I also would like for you to reach out to me for um for past uh, uh, crystallized Ooh. trauma. Um, oh, because okay. This is a, this is a, a crystallized trauma that's wanting to be healed. So reach okay, out to me, okay. commongroundhealing.com. Okay, Michelle. Oh, well, that's Heather. Heather. You do that first. I know. It's Heather. Heather. Yeah, Heather. 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 Okay, but yeah, I got kind of caught into maybe. the tinnitus. I got into the tinnitus trap. The really, real reason I called is I wanted to ask Professor Eric what he thought about this. I've got a friend of 70 years. I'm 72. I've known him since two. And, Elisa, you know oh, we went to God. New Zealand together. Remember the story about New yes. Zealand? And he yeah. was a he was a mean spirited SOB when we were in mm-hmm. New Zealand. And I just wanted to ask Michelle, what is mm. or Eric, I should say, Eric, go back into the Akashic Records, go back and and why is this guy acting such so mean spirited and such a jerk? Wow, I've mm. got Michelle, you go, but I've got answers to that. <laughs> yeah. I've got something he's, there's, there is something past life with that, but there's also something's attached to him. It's like a a memory. Ooh, I knew it. A cell memory. Mm -hmm. And he's got something attached. So it's like a a door was opened and it has to do with something that was created in him in another lifetime. So it was like a, like a portal, like a wide open door. And he's got a little something connected there. Is it a reptilian or an entity or what? Yeah. Yeah. Is it negative entity no. or reptilian or anything like that? Uh, what is it? It, it? It's a spirit. A spirit. Yeah. Oh. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Uh, Eric yeah. Eric wants to talk, and I'm going to channel him. Okay. Uh, th- this, is not, this is not a negative entity that you're seeing right now. What you're seeing is that this is a self-protection. 
this is something that he covered himself with because he because what happened was so traumatic to him that that this being um it, the the sentinel part of him won't allow this trauma to come out and be healed because it's self protecting mm. him so he has this persona and this persona or spirit is what is actually controlling his behaviors and and how he acts out but it's only because he's hiding his pain he's got such such big pain and the reason why you can't let this go is because you're a healer yourself and you know you see beyond that and you know this isn't him why is he acting like this this is exactly him. i exactly. know his soul i see him for who he is and i'm like what the fuck is going on here what what exactly. is this covering him up and it's not yeah. it's not it's not a negative entity what it is it's it's his sentinel mm-hmm. being which is a part of him that protects him is not allowing that part to come out, which is truly his authentic self because the yeah. trauma is so painful for him. And you oh, are part of okay. the healing process because you see him and you have to let him know how much you see him and how yeah. wonderful he is and to not be afraid yeah. to be who you are. And that's why you can't wow. let this go because you, you, your, your souls are connected. And it's driving yep. you crazy that he that you know him and you're like put break down those fucking walls. Excuse oh, my okay. language. It's driving me crazy. Seventy years, and I and, and I supported him. I know. I supported him through his uh, uh, colon uh, can He had colon cancer, and I supported him. We go he, to New Zealand. He had and a he death acts wish. Like a, he has a death wish. He wants to die. Uh, Part of him wants to die. He doesn't to. realize that. Okay, Michelle, no, you don't Michelle, need to. What, what is the okay, next step? Just give, and then we need to go to another caller because I know. Yeah, we, thank we you, Lisa. Take yeah, a little time. You. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, what is the next step? What does Jim need to do? Well, or, or what does the guy need to do? Or the portal work? Get, get a session somehow with you, uh, Heather, or you, Michelle, or whatever. What? He can he can have he can have portal work done, but um, there is some so there's some necessity for some conscious work to be done. And I don't know um, Jim how friend is to having the work done, but um, this is a little deeper than what we can get into right here. Yes, yes, I there's, figured. There's a, yeah, there's yes. a, a few layers just, to it. Yes, I ahead. figured. I just want to say that 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 the the reason why that I came right out and I don't advertise myself because I I don't ne- I don't need the work but but the reason why I'm this came up is because this is a past life trauma that you can yes. heal yourself and as yes. you heal yourself you're healing him as well because he's part yes. of this past mm-hmm. life trauma and, who, and you know that and you know and, that and, you have a part in this healing process and we can do that together. So who who oh, I would do you want me to free. call Michelle? I or... would do it for free. No, you you need to reach out Heather. to Heather Hilton Hartford and reference the Channeling Eric radio show and what happened because I don't remember what I say and I will I do know, a free channeling. channeling. Yeah. Uh, give me your give me your uh, give me your uh, web address one more time. Well, it's 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 uh, commongroundhealing dot com and just send me a message. That's all. All right, we'll oh, go on okay. to the next caller. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I look forward to it. He, he can... All right, awesome. All right, awesome. Thanks, Jim. Don't say yourself short. I mean, energy exchange is super important. But uh, uh, energy no, exchange, yes, years, but also soul calling. Ah, okay. All right, two oh nine, Erica. What's up? Hello. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hello. Thanks for being patient. Thanks so much. Oh, you know, it's coming over and over. I'm going to get through. <laughs> what can we do for you? You're breaking up a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get through this. Okay. I'm having a lot of issues at home, and I just haven't been myself lately. I feel rather emotionally flat, and I'm starting to get these bad thoughts in my head. So I just I guess asking for advice. I don't know what to do with myself right now. Well, I can hardly hear mm-hmm. you. Uh, or do you have a? I can can't. you get on a landline? I I Eric Eric's answering her. He is yeah. answering. Okay. He is. Thank you, Michelle. He is. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Thank he God. Okay. Good. Good. 
Um, I didn't hear. I didn't hear what your first name is, but I'm going to tell you what Eric's answering. Um, what he's saying is, at this point in time, he says there is a time for you to step up into your own personal power. He says there's a calling for you to step into Ooh. some empowerment in your life, and he says, wow. um, look, look around the areas of your life where you are feeling disempowered because he says that you are spreading your energy over too many places and they're directed at places that are outside of you and you're draining from yourself. That's creating some imbalance inside. So he says, look at ways that you can step into your power, meaning where are you not speaking up for yourself? Where are you going with somebody else's flow and not with your flow? And so Mm, this is really important because you're at a time of transformation, which means that this is opportunity. And so he says, take this opportunity. And he says, and be compassionate with yourself. This isn't isn't saying to you that you're not doing things right. This is telling you that things are coming together. So when you feel this way, he says, this is a, like a knock, knock, knock. It's time to pay a little more attention. And you'll start to notice, he says, that things are going to start to tighten up. Okay. Get each other. Uh, that's pretty that, interesting. I, I, I get the sense that she is a light worker, maybe even an earth angel. And those are the kind of people who give their, their resources away. Yeah. Says, oh, uh, I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you. But what about me, man? And, yeah, and uh, now Michelle. I think you need to put your own oxygen on first and, and – so that you can better help humanity. I, I'm feeling this really strongly, and like I don't know what I'm doing, but but yes, you're, you're I, absolutely, I correct. You're yeah. absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. And this Michelle, is a woman here to help humanity in some way. So yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Michelle yeah. and and Mama E, I have to tell you that when when Michelle said disempowered, Eric was showing me disemboweled, and and uh-huh. that is uh, that you're having big time stomach problems and that's where you're holding a lot of that trauma and that's where um, the healing needs to begin because we have three brains. We have the brain, the heart and the stomach. And, and we, the biggest malady of Western medicine is calling the brain, the brain, because it's not the brain. Mm -hmm. There are three of them and you were disemboweled and you, you release that part of your brain and your stomach is all messed up. Um, I'm going to try to hold Eric's language, but it is. No. But she, but but you're starting to heal it because you're recognizing it. So when okay. when when she said disempowered, and when Eric said disemboweled, you resonate with that. Yes, I do actually. So you sit with oh. that. You feel that sensation. And you ask it. What what does it have to tell you? Where are you mm. beginning? Who are you? What happened? Life-centered therapy. What do you need to heal? Life-centered therapy. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's great. Thank you so much. I love you all. And um, We love you. I'll keep listening. Love you. Eric's blowing you a kiss. <laughs> Eric's oh, blowing you a kiss. He's like, thank you, for, thank you for loving me, too, he said. Oh, my gosh. Oh. He doesn't even know. I think she needs well, life-centered yes, therapy. Yes, he does. life Life centered therapy. Yeah. Maybe. Common ground yeah. healing. You know, because of that disembowelment. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. Well I just Thank lost my so appetite. Not really. Nothing will make me lose my <laughs> appetite. All right. Thank you for calling. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. So bye bye. Before we take the next caller, I wanna say, you know, a lot of you say that it's hard to listen to because we talk over each other. But let me explain one thing. We get a lot of messages at the same time. We yeah, we yeah. want to help. We are connecting. And if you can just bear with us, and the messages will come through the ones you need to hear. And I know it's hard yeah, of to hear all yeah. of us talking over each other, but it's only because the energy is so great. And Eric wants this healing so much for all of you. So bear with us and exactly. thank you. All yeah. right. Awesome. Awesome. Well said. Yeah, all right. Thanks, now Heather. we've got one from the 605 area code. Who are we speaking with? Hi, this is Jennifer from South Dakota. From where? South Dakota. Jennifer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. It's cold. I got, <laughs> I got folks from North Dakota, Devil's Lake. You know where that is? Yeah. Oh, it's honey, cold. did you just lose somebody? Did I lose somebody? Yeah. 
Um, I lost a cat about last month, and she was mauled by some dogs. Um, oh. You're in yeah. grief. You're in the grief process, but it wasn't just the cat. It has to do with other um, losses, and I really feel like there was a, a, a drug-related loss. And um, also a grandparent. And I feel like this is part of the push for you to heal. And not it's not about healing right now. It's more about being okay with grief. Mm-hmm. Wait, did, he, did, did, did losing the cat? Did losing the cat? Uh, losing the, the cat, yes. Yeah, but losing the cat was huge. Because that cat was, was your was your, your lifeline. That cat was your, your, um, your, your, uh, comfort animal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Michelle, can you touch, Michelle, can you get in touch with uh, the the most important person for her to hear from right now on the other side? Yeah. Is is your, is your kitty cat, um, two-toned? Yeah. Yeah. She's a, Color she's very bright. Yeah. Yes, yes. I would say multicolored, oh, um, and and very very sweet. And did, was her nose like a little bit heart shaped? Yeah, yeah. Yes, like well, she's got quite a pink little nose and heart shape. Um, oh. She wants you to know. She wants you to know. First of all, thank you. She wants you to know that I know that what you saw in your head and the flashes you have in your head give you a nightmare. It, it hurts you. But she wants you to know that she's okay. And she's letting you know also that she's resting right now. And believe, believe it or not, um, where she's spending her time, and this may sound really strange for a kitty cat, this is what she's saying is she's with dolphins. So I don't know if dolphins mean anything ah. to you or have any symbol to you. But she's saying mm, that she's riding the with dolphins. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, currently I'm studying for my like MSW, and I was wondering if Erica had any. Oh, I'm currently studying for my MSW exam, so I called in actually wondering if Eric had any advice during this time of kind of ending, me graduating here and state exams. I wondered if he had any advice for that this time in my life. Master of Social Work, right? Yeah, correct. Yep. Okay. He says to, he he says that. Um, that message is also for you about um, your kitty cat resting is make mm-hmm. sure that you get plenty of rest because he says you're going pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, I have it. Sounds good. So, uh, very good advice. All right, well, good yeah. luck on your exam. Call us uh, after you're finished and let us know how you did. Yeah, thank you. Where, thank you where, everybody. <clears throat> where is the new link, you guys? Huh? Did you post the new link to this? Because I've got people asking me where the new link is. Um, oh, yes. No. Uh, hold on a second. I will. Okay, you guys it's carry okay. on, and I will. I will find the link and post it. All right. Go ahead and take the next caller, Mama. I will do it. All right. Let's see. We got somebody from the seven zero two area code. Hi there. How you doing? Hello, am I on? Yes, you yeah. are. Sir. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How are you guys doing? This is Jim from Las Vegas. Jim from Vegas. Oh, How are you doing? doing? Oh, hey, I'm doing pretty I good. I hear How that you Elvis doing? Tang. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you. What Thank you very much. You, sweetie? Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, <clears throat> I have a uh, like a lifelong issue with my older brother and I'm not exactly sure if I should even attempt to do anything about it. I mean, this thing's been going on since we were kids. Mm. The gist of the story is he was abused as a baby. I think he was about, you know, one and a half or two years old. And I'm guessing that's what turned him into what he still is, which is a, he's not a very good person. He's a narcissist. He's a, Control oh freak, attention freak. I I have to talk to you. Okay. Seriously, so, privately, I have to talk to you. Eric's okay, coming through, so, but I'm gonna let Mama E control this. All right. So, okay. okay give it, Michelle. So what's uh? Ask Eric some fresh, uh, some practical steps. What can he do okay. now? Hello. For himself and uh, her brother, or and or his brother. 
Um, so, Jim, this is Michelle here. And so what Eric is saying is, you know, it's interesting because we just said this to a caller a couple moments ago, but he says, you know, I know that the, the focus is what do I do with my brother and how do I, how do I, do I leave things, do I correct things? But he says, Jim, my friend, he says, this is about you stepping into your power and focusing Amen. on you because it is your energy that has to be. To, to drive everything. He says, um, if you try to worry about the connection with your brother and change that connection, that takes away from you. And he says, even though humanly we think what we need to do is what can we fix? How can we fix this? But he says, this is about you seeing your own emotions. And also, he says, stepping into those things that you're doing right now. He says, writing. He says, uh, your creativeness your talent, all of those things that you feel for yourself. He says, this is about you standing in it. And also, he says, not letting your brother take your power away. All right. Okay. Uh, Eric, <clears throat> I, I, Eric, I, I, Eric wants to channel through me. Okay, go ahead. I, Michelle, is there something else you wait, wanted wait. to say? I wonder if this is a con- no, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this a contract between his brother and him to teach him, yeah. um, the, Jim? Yes. To to just yes. yeah, to, to step Mom. into his own power and not just Mom. You know somebody else. Mom, you know you know you know you, know you raised me. Mom, you know you raised me and our family to be family and that we support each other and we love each other no matter what. And yeah. and you that is the that is amazing. It, that doesn't always happen, and that doesn't exactly. mean you were raised in a bad family. It means mm-hmm. that he was raised, and, and he's experiencing this because he has been the healer. He has been the scapegoat. Oh. He has been the one who's the quietest in the family and the one who was taken advantage of. And, honey, uh, mm. dude, uh, and I want to call you honey because I just want to hug you. But, dude, I'm telling you that you have the power and this is about you claiming your own power and letting go. You have to let go of him. He's not serving you. He's hurting you. He blames you for everything. Can we help him? Wait, 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 wait. Can we help his brother? I mean, I'll do it for free. If we do super portal work within Christmas, can we help the brother? No. We can only help him what? because this is about him. This is about you, honey. And you know what? Eric's saying it's about fucking time you focus on you. <laughs> Not about healing somebody else. Not about fixing somebody else's behavior. Oh, so but hard. you. Because you are, so you, are, you are a bright light. Do not let anybody take that from you. Do not let anybody yeah, but, 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 make you feel like you've done both? anything wrong. Because, dude, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do, like, all, all the right. shit he's telling you is fucking bullshit. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Oh, are oh, you oh, crazy? Oh, oh. And, did, did and have, you know, Jim, dude, right? you, you know that you're not crazy. Wait, did Jim have, you just, this is Jim about you. This is about you healing. You're, this is your know, healing but, process. And you need to go into yourself and realize yeah. that you need to yes. focus on you. And not Michelle, about right. healing does somebody he else, but healing skills? you. Does, does he have right. Michelle, Michelle does, does he have survivor skills? Like my brother is fucked up, and but I did okay. Sorry, or? I had to disconnect. I didn't. I didn't I hear that. <clears throat> Michelle, no, I, I'm not really getting survivor guilt. Eric is saying that you know the contract is about Jim being able to. Release, you see, Jim's an empath, and so Eric says that it's more about him being able to release the energy of living into his brother's idea of him or acceptance of him, and he says that that is a contract. Um, he does say, you know, there there is healing that can be done. There's always healing that can be done. Scalar energy always will help actual relationship healing, he says. Is that something that's definitely going to happen in this lifetime? He says not necessarily. There's not a contract that sits mm-hmm. here that says it either is or it isn't. 
but he says the real goal here is Jim being able to feel good about himself as who he is, no matter what has happened throughout yes. his lifetime, it's who he is today. He's pounding right, his chest. Question. He's pounding his chest and giving you a finger sign. I don't know if it's a peace sign or like a hang tan. I don't know what this is, a hang tan or like a like a, a music thing. I don't know what it is, but he's pounding his chest and giving you this sign. And that's confirmation for you. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I'm getting well, ready to uh, um, initiate. One, well, we got to take the next caller, but thank you. No, no, wait, wait. I want to ask one what? more question. How? What's the first step necessary, not only for him, for Jim, but also for the brother? Because you know, Mama E. Has letting, to go. Okay, letting, letting go. Okay, separating and letting go. But how can I'm talking about how we? I can help. Anything? No, this is his part. He knows what okay. he has to do. All right. All right. Take the next call, then. What a big fat All bummer right. this is. I'm, you know, me. I, oh, <laughs> Sorry, Mama E. I cannot Sorry, Mama. It. Oh, God. All right. We'll take somebody from the 561 area code. Hello. Hi, Hello. Are you there. How you doing? Hey. What's up? I'm five six one. Hello. You are it. You are Hello. high man. You're larger than you are. What you got, girl? Hi, it, this is Gigi. I want to make sure that I can that I'm the, I'm the right person. Yes, ma'am. You you're sure yeah. right person. Oh God, thank you. I need it so bad. God, I need it oh, so bad. bad. <laughs> oh, honey, your your son your son is there. Your son is wow. there. He's loving you. He's holding you. Oh. It's not your fault. There's nothing you could have done. It was an accident. Mom, it was an accident. I'm so sorry. And I love you so much. And who are you mm. talking about? Hello? This is, yeah. Yeah, who are you talking about? My Did son? Did you lose somebody? Did you lose somebody? Yeah. I mean, Who? not a child. I lost a boyfriend. Uh, I mean. Yeah. Maybe you lost it. a son. And it, it's not necessarily a physical son, but it's a it's a young energy. And you lost somebody who is like somebody that you wrapped around, your your arms wrapped around them like they were your son. Like oh. you had that same love. And it was boyfriend? a young energy. <laughs> and you know you knew each other in a past life. Maybe they were maybe you they were mother know, and son in a past life. You know that you feel this energy. You know that you resonate with this. And I'm telling you, <laughs> thank you for loving me. The way that I, I never, ever was ex- able to experience that kind of love. Okay, Michelle, are you picking? What are you picking up? Is it the boyfriend? Is that a sun-like energy? I was just, just going to ask you: Is this is this a partner? It could be. I mean, I love someone, but he was just a bastard. But I mean, I loved him, and I, he died in my arms of cancer. Oh, okay. that's the uh, wrapping mm-hmm. arms around thing. You okay. were the mother that he needed that he didn't have. Okay, well, Michelle, then, so what are you it, picking up? There is, you're being looked at as as a maternal energy, and because there was care that this man had for you, um, you gave an awful lot to him, and yes. he, he took advantage of that. Um, he's sorry for that because yeah. he missed out on that in his life when he was younger. He had some trauma and some difficulty. Um, he had some difficulty giving from a place in his heart that was as deep as what he understands that he really is. He wasn't able to give that to you. He's also saying that um, for your healing right now, he's saying that to be in nature, to take some retreat, to take some time for yourself, because he says that you're in a, you're in a very dark place, in a very sad place, and he says that he is in nature. And that when you connect with nature, it will help lift you up. It'll help give you some peace. 
so that you can start to feel whole again, so you yeah. can start to walk forward again. Hmm. He's so, talking about birds as well. So I don't know if you have a lot of birds around you or you see birds, but he'll show himself to you with birds. Yeah, I do love birds. Now can I ask another question? I'm stuck here in Canada. I came here to die and because I had serious health issues and now I'm stuck here and I want to get out of here and go back to Florida. Is this going to happen? Your health issues are what the unresolved trauma issues that you have. And this was part of it. This, he was your son in a past life. And you feel oh. that guilt and you have this death wish. And it's very yeah. common in past life traumas. But by you are fall, not meant to die. By the fall, you should be able to get home. It could be a little bit before that as well. I'm sorry. But you're looking, wanting to know when you'd be able to leave Canada? To yes, get back to because, Florida. you know, here it's, uh, it's still very hard. And also I'm in an assistant living place and I'm 70 years old and I'm, I'm healed now. So I want to get out of here, but it's, God. you know, they you have so this, much uh, younger. And, yeah, everybody. You are so much younger. Lying. You've got a lot yeah. of life to live. Walkers and and all that crap mm-hmm. and it, I just can't take it. It's too depressing. I don't even want to get out of my apartment. No, no, get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah. Uh, maybe this is yeah, you'll be able to go. you be able to go before you. the winter comes. Okay. Yeah, that's Amen. what I you want. Don't have to do. Another winter, you'll be okay. You'll get back in that warm sunshine. Amen. Oh, that's awesome. Now, are you sure who says that, Eric, my beautiful little Eric? I talk to him every night. Yes, my love. Yeah, that's And you, that's and Eric, you call yeah. me my love. You call me my love, and you are my yes. love, too. Uh, I think he's helped me many times. I even tried to take my life once, and I woke up. He won't let you. Oh, I won't do it now because I already tried and I didn't succeed and I don't ever want to do that again. It's too, no, too know, hard Eric, to do. Eric wants you to be around. Eric wants you to be around. And if I can help you with any of the Atlanta Scaler stuff, let me know. Yeah. If you have any physical problems please or mental or whatever, please let me know because I would love to help yeah. you, okay? At least so I already help. have the portal. And, and let us I donate. Already, Alisa, okay, let well, whatever else you need, man. Yeah, whatever I, uh, else you need, because I love you, and I already, love you. I already contacted oh, you, and I, I, I'm an empath, and uh, the the um, email is ggblue at icloud dot com, and um, oh, I bet. I'll check it out. Reach out to me too, honey, Heather Hilton Hartford. Reach out to me too. <laughs> All right, Thanks. so we got we got D. Michelle Gray at thehealingh-arts.com. Oh, we We've done already? Commonground, com. And yes, we're done. Jesus, Blog Talk Radio. Thank you, Ugh. lady. All right, I love lady. you guys. I love you, Eric. I, I love, love you, Michelle. I love you all. I, love you all. Love you, I wish it could have lasted love longer. I love you, yeah. Heather, all of Thank you guys. You. I love, 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 love you. <laughs>